one of the experiences I went through that really led to my conversion was actually walking in the garden with my mom. And she, she'd been going through a very rough time at the, uh, at the time. This was a, a few years back, about I think six or seven years back. And I was kind of the, I don't know what you'd say, the, the new age uh, guy who uh, went to Cambodia and came back and thought he understood Zen and was reading McKenna and reading Watts. And I was very much within that whole world. And I just saw suffering. You know, I saw my mom going through a very rough time and I just my whole worldview just collapsed right in front of me in that moment. I just realized that telling saying to her in that moment, I didn't say it, but, you know, it was on my mind wanting to say to her, you know, all this suffering, all this pain, it's all just an illusion. In that moment, I just realized how how phony, how superficial, how flat, how how. Uh, nihilistic that actually is um, mm -hmm. because it's almost like you don't have to care about anything really uh, and I, I, I still cringe a little bit when I hear people say well everything's just an illusion I say okay but now what right <laughs> where do we go from here what's the point of doing anything if everything's an illusion if all the suffering all the ambition I feel is just I mean yeah, I think when people immediately say slap someone in the face when they say that like right away just slap them really hard in the face and then to just smile all right, let, let carry on then, Mr. Illusion. It's like, <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, I mean, it's 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 like people who say, uh, I don't have I don't have a moral problem with stealing and then they get robbed. Right. And then you realize yeah. they actually do have a pretty big they do uh, have problem it, with, with theft. Right? I can tell you, like, I can I can give you the trick. Like the, if you want to understand the new atheist trick or like the materialist trick, the nihilist trick, it's very simple and it doesn't take. It doesn't take much once you understand it. All you mm. have to do is reduce a, a united being to its components. And you don't have to do it. You have to do just one level. Right? So mm. someone said someone says something is meaningful. And then you say, oh, that's just like a human being is just, you know, a bunch of chemicals that are that a bag of chemicals, you know. So what you do. And so, and so and the funny thing is that a bag of chemicals is also an identity. They all, all those things, the elements also have identities because, you know, yeah. you, there's a hierarchy of that. Uh, but that's, if you want to understand, people do it all the time. They'll say something like, you know, it's like, whatever it is that you're doing that's meaningful, they'll just reduce it to its elements. It's like shaking hands What you just touch people. We just touch our hands together. That's what we're doing. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to touch yeah. to touch our hands. What are we doing, right? So you can do that for anything, anything that has meaning. But then the trick and this is the trick is that all the elements you 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 bring it down to are also meaningful and symbolic and ritualized and so you would have to like go all the way down right it's like you could always say about everything oh it's just a quantum field or whatever it's just a just a field of possibility everything's just a field of possibility uh but usually you can just do it one step so it's like if you really want to be if you really want to be mr cynical that's all you need to do is just just redo oh it's a you just have to reduce it to its elements right it's like uh you know, a story in the Bible or, or some guy, right? Some guy gets nailed to a cross, he dies and he comes back to life. Like, that's it. That's your religion. Seriously. It's ridiculous. Right. And you can do about, you can do it with anything. It's great. It's like, it's a, it's a beautiful, it's like a trick. But once you see it, once you see that that's what happens, it's like, you can't, you, can, you won't fall for it ever again. When somebody tries to reduce something to its elements. Yeah, well, as you, as you were saying that, I, it, I mean, you mentioned people can do it with anything. I, I, it's almost like a, a good example of how it, it kind of injects nihilism into things is supposing I come to you and I've had a really rough week at work and it's Friday and I'm in a good mood because it's Friday and I think, yes, the, the weekend's coming up. I've got Saturday, I've got Sunday. Aren't you glad it's Friday? And you say to me, well, look, uh, you know, in three days it's Monday. Or, or uh, I come to you in December and I come to you in December and I say, I'm so glad it's December. And you say, yeah, but guess what next month is? And it's in a way to me, it strikes me as the same thing as to what you're describing. It's it's in a way reducing things to um, components. Well, OK, what really is what really does Friday mean since, you know, it's just another arbitrary the point. It's just a convention. Yeah, it's just a convention yes. of time that we've imposed on ourselves. Yes. And it's just funny. Yeah. yeah, like I said, it's hilarious. Neil deGrasse Tyson does that all the time. That's like it's basically his right. one move. 
His one move is to say something like, there's absolutely nothing special about December 25th. You know, it's not even the solstice. It's like a few days after the solstice. It has no, like, there's no, there's no uh, geographic, you know, thing in, happening in the sky that could explain the significance of, of that day. It's just another day, basically. So you could do that. And, and he does it constantly. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> I think now that you've revealed that I'm probably going to start noticing it a lot more. I don't know. Oh, if yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pay attention to him in particular. He's he's the I don't know if he's still even is still kind of uh, online much, but like if you look at his tweets and look at his posts, you'll see that he does it constantly. He just reduces something to its elements and then declares it to be non-meaningful 